Okay, Bio B, uh, here is a quick video that I'm calling Two Pogles and One Teacher. In this video, I'm going to go over the solutions to the two pogles that were assigned to you, one on leaf anatomy, and the second pogle had to do with a comparison of respiration and photosynthesis at the organelle level. So let's get to it. So the first thing that we are looking at right now is the pogle that was assigned earlier in the week in which you were looking at the anatomy of a leaf and I would like to go over the solutions with you. In the first question it says list three things entering the leaf in model one and so we are physically talking about the things that are going into the leaf. So we've got water going into the leaf we have carbon dioxide going into the leaf. And the other thing that's going in is actually acting on the leaf, and that is the energy from the sun. In the second question, it says list three substances that are leaving the leaf. So here we've got to follow the arrows. And so we have sugar that is leaving the leaf. We have water also leaving the leaf. And the other thing that is leaving the leaf is oxygen. Oxygen leaves our leaf. Which substance is both entering and leaving the leaf? So note that water leaves the leaf and water enters the leaf. When water leaves the leaf, we call it transpiration. And this is why plants wilt if on sunny days, on hot days. In question number four, it says veins are important structures that carry materials through the leaf. Label the central vein in the diagram, and I'll do that in yellow. The central vein is like that. How is the substance you identified in question three changed between its entry and its exit? So, uh, the next question is, how is the substance you identified in question three changed between its entry entry and exit. So if you look at question three, it's saying which substance is both entering and exiting, and note one is the water is moving into the leaf from the central vein, whereas water is actually leaving the leaf through the pores. And notice the dashed lines, which represents gas. So it is gas out and liquid in. Use the general model one to answer the following questions. What are the reactants of photosynthesis? So reactants go in. So we have water plus carbon dioxide. Those are physical reactants. We also have light energy. Where do these reactants enter the leaf? So note that CO2 comes in on the surface and water comes in through the vein. What are the products of photosynthesis? The products are oxygen and sugar. And from where do these products leave? Well, oxygen leaves through the leaf and sugar leaves through the vein. Categorize all the components involved in photosynthesis as either matter or energy. And so I'm going to do that in red. I'll use M for matter.
and E for energy. And then predict what will have the greatest impact on the photosynthetic rate. And I am not going to give you the answer to this, but I would like you to write it as a hypothesis. And you will be doing a lab later this week in which you'll be able to figure this out. All right, so let's look at Pogol number two. In Pogol number two, we are comparing what's happening in the chloroplast and the mitochondria. I want you to notice as we get started here, looking at the photosynthesis side, you can see we are dealing with the same reactants, carbon dioxide and water. You also can see the energy source that we were talking about with the leaf, and that would be the sun's energy. And then you can see the products in the prior pogol as well, and that being the sugar and the oxygen. One of the other things that is worth noting is you saw that water went in and water came out. And if we were to actually balance this equation, 12 waters go into the photosynthetic process, coming in through the vein of the leaf, and six waters come out. And that's the water you saw leaving the leaf surface as well. And so um, when we subtract six from 12, that's how come they're showing a positive six on this side and no water on the other side. Anyway, let's address some of these questions. Some of them I've already answered in, in this process. In what cell organelle does photosynthesis occur? So we can see that that's happening in the chloroplast. And I will circle the chloroplast in green. And what are the three reactants needed for photosynthesis. So again, this is just repeating what we had done before. I sometimes use NRG and smoosh them together to say energy. What are the two products of photosynthesis? And here we are talking about glucose, so sugar, and we are talking about oxygen. Now we're going to focus on the respiration process. Respiration balances with photosynthesis. And so it asks, what is the organelle for respiration? And here it is the mitochondria. And I will circle the mitochondria in blue. What are the two reactants for cellular respiration? So I want you to note that the reactants of respiration are the products of photosynthesis. What are the products of respiration? And I want you to note that the products of respiration are the reactants of photosynthesis. We give the energy product of photosynthesis a different name. It's a mo molecular source of energy. It's called, it's called ATP, and we will learn more about ATP next week. What four substances are recycled through or during photosynthesis and respiration? And so I'm going to put them in a box in green. These are in cycle with each other. What is the one component in photosynthesis that is not recycled back and must be continuously replenished? And that is the energy from the sun. Are chloroplasts found in most plant cells? So here is something to think about. That word most actually has me confused a little bit. 
Chloroplasts are found in leaves and in green stems. So if we were talking about a tree, chances are most of the cells don't have chloroplasts because trees have a lot of bark and a lot of, a lot of material that don't have chloroplasts doing photosynthesis. Are, moto, are mitochondria found in most plant cells? And the answer to this is an absolute yes. Mitochondria do respiration, all eukaryote cells have mitochondria. Are chloroplasts found in animal cells? And the answer here is no. And that's because animals don't do photosynthesis. And are chloroplasts found in animal cells? And the answer is yes, that this is a requirement to get energy from food. You'll note that I did not answer the last question here. And so with that, I am going to leave it to you I want you to take a good look at that last question. Think about what you wrote the first time and make a revision. So that's it. I hope this helped. See ya.